Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your reading for May 21st, 2022. Please show me what everyone needs to know here. Or see. Thank you. Wow, that top card really wants to pop out. Um, for the masculine side, please show me what everyone needs to know here. Or see. Thank you. I hope you guys are having a beautiful weekend. It's nice and cool here. I think we're getting a thunderstorm this afternoon. All right. I hope you guys are doing great. Um, there were two shuffle songs. The feminine mask, sorry, the feminine masculine. Maybe that's something. Um, the feminine side, the song was Bridge Over Troubled Waters. Um, it was a cover by Annie Lennox. And the masculine side was Why Me by Big Bad Daddy Voodoo. So the feminine side kind of sounded like, um, I don't know, it kind of feels like there's a, there's a, um, there's a mending going on. There's, um, like, um, the masculine is missing the feminine, the feminine is softening. It feels like she ran away and now she's maybe... Um, she says something about um, lay down and make a bridge. I, I'm not I'm not sure, but there, it's like bridge building. That's what I'm feeling. And this masculine side is feeling um, like I thought you would come back. I thought you'd come back. So, and it kind of feels like she's maybe thinking about it. Something like that. Something is softening. Something has softened within both of them. All right, so the feminine has the nine of cups in the upright. That is all about victory, um, getting your wish. There, she's very, very happy and full within her heart space. The masculine has the knight of cups in the upright. So yeah, it, it feels like he wants to bring an offer, but he's still facing away. It's almost like the feminine is too much. The feminine is too full and or he's bashful, or he's still hiding something, but he's feeling the love in his heart, but he's looking that way. He's, we'll see what that is in a minute. All right, so your inspiration. The feminine is the six of wands in the reverse. So that's bringing attention to something. It's pushing. Um, it's also feeling like something was not successful. You could be noticing something that wasn't successful. Something is being brought to your attention that hasn't, it could have even been forced into your attention. But your inspiration is to notice something. I'm feeling like someone is pushing something to the forefront in some way. The masculine has the tower in the reverse, so that's captivity. Whoa. You have his attention, or he has your attention, or you have each other's attention. Captivated and attention together, so someone is captivated. Someone could also be stuck somewhere. Someone could be in debt. You have the devil in the upright in your strength, fears, and feelings. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's a compulsion. That's an addiction, a compulsion. Um, that's your animal instincts. It's magnetism, it's sexual attraction. It's, it's very strong. It's, in, it's called major force. And this is pushing something to someone's attention. So I don't know, it's almost like your, your attraction. Like I just got, Attraction going through, going, traveling a distance, almost like electricity. I don't know. The masculine energy has the seven of cups in the reverse. He could be planning a wedding or planning some kind of fun activities. And you have the devil in your willpower. So you have a really strong willpower and you're pushing something and this masculine is noticing whatever it is you're pushing. You're, 
you're really driven. Like you're you're pushing through adversity. You're pushing through. You're pushing through. Something could be difficult. You're still doing it. Nothing's stopping you. And somebody is captivated by that. And they love what they're seeing, but it's like they're trying to turn away. They don't want to look. They don't want to look and get captivated. They're trying not to look. Um, they could be addicted to you. Or someone could be addicted to hard work. Could be paying off a debt. And this is... The willpower in the masculine side is because they have a plan. So they could have a lot of debt. They could be working really hard or you could be. Whatever it is, it's working in your heart. Both of you have um, cups in your heart space. All right, you have the magician in the upright in your intuition. This is the way. This is the way. Why, do, why am I thinking way shower? You're a way shower. You're saying this is the way. You have all of the elements. You're working with all of the elements. Wow, you have some strong energy, feminine. The masculine has the 10 of cups in the, no. Yeah, 10 of cups in the reverse. Ooh, so he's mad, he's upset. Um, there could be a family that's very upset. This could be your family upset at your finding your way. You are absolutely listening to your instincts. Your instincts are telling you to keep pushing forward. Even if it doesn't look like you're having success yet, keep pushing. And it looks like you're happy doing it. You have justice in the reverse in outcome. You feel, I just heard you feel hard done by, um, but what I was trying to say was you feel um, picked on or targeted, you feel overlooked, and this masculine is looking right at the justice in the reverse, maybe with an apology. Mm-hmm. He's bringing, or an idea. I kind of feel like you are going to feel like you, you can't make a decision. Or you don't know what to do. And there's, this person wants to bring you an idea or a blessing or their support in some way. This other person, the masculine, has the three of coins in the upright. They want to work with you. I don't know why they're mad at this magician in your intuition, though. Or it could be their family or people around them. Three of coins in the upright, in the outcome. I feel like this masculine is finding God, is finding illumination. Um, they might want to work with, they, they might be working with their higher power or they want to work with you and you don't know or you don't want to. Like the songs, like you might not trust this person right now, but this person, yeah, they could be very, very upset. This feels like you're doing everything on your own here. You have a lot of abilities. You could be a very good cook. You could gather plants. Like this is feeling like you're in the grass, like, um, like it just gave me a picture of me picking dandelions for honey. Listening to your instincts, making magic potions, making magic, okay, because, how do I explain this? Like I all of a sudden had this impulse, this is, um, this is a while ago, that dandelions were good for breathing, and they are. They are. This is the magician. This is using natural, organic, out of the earth elements, growth, mixing them together and using them. But you don't know something. Someone's going to bring you an idea. They want to work with you. They want to help you. Because it might feel like you're missing something or it's a struggle. 
it's it's not easy to do this. You're still figuring it out. Okay. Oh. I move this down. In the near future, you have the Queen of Wands in the upright. She is a visionary. She is psychic. She is a leader. She's a boss. She's very physically fit. She's she's very strong. She's starting something. She's organizing something. She sees a vision. That's what you have in your near future. For the feminine, for the masculine, ooh, he has the Ten of Swords in the upright. Mmm. Okay, so he might not be well. He could feel it's an ending. You're starting something new. He feels like he's not in it. He's not in it, but he's noticing what you're doing. He's noticing how hard you're working. He's noticing how deep you're working. Um, and I mean deep as in depth of, how do I explain it? Like, I feel like you're, you're reaching in the earth and pulling out the medicine. That's what this feels like. But you have justice in the reverse. It's illegal? Maybe you're growing weed, like pot or something, um, and it's illegal. But someone's coming to help you or bring you something and work with you. So I don't know if this is the masculine energy or these are different stories coming through, but there's someone coming to help you, someone with higher knowledge that knows about these things that you're, you're doing. As you are, you're making some kind of concoction, concoction out of this double energy. So as something is beginning for the feminine, something is ending for the masculine as well. But it, it does feel like a health issue for him. Okay, I get it now. This masculine wants your help. They want your help. They want you to help fix. They want to get better. They could be not feeling well. They want to plan something. They want to plan um, some kind of fun activity or they could be getting married, something like that. Um, this could be they want to get married to you. But um, what I'm seeing is they're not well. They're not well. They need your help to fix something. It could be a health issue or it could be an energy healing. Yeah, you're, you're healing something at the deepest level of somebody, but you don't know this. Like you, oh, you might be doing it energetically to this person and you don't even know it. You could be healing somebody. All right, so you have the six of coins in the reverse. It feels very much like that six of wands in the reverse. It's um, really pushy. You're really pushy. I don't mean you're really pushy like your personality. I mean you're really pushing. It's almost feeling like something is pushing out of the earth. Like whatever you're picking, and for me that's dandelions. Um, for you it's something else. It, it might not even be a plant. It might be... I don't know, something's coming to you, something is pushing its way, getting your attention, you're picking it, you're mixing it together, you're grinding it together, you've, you've got that um, mortar and, and pestle going on here. But I'm still trying to figure out, you can't, you don't have it right and someone is coming to help you. Someone is coming to help you. They are, they're coming to help you. They're lending you their knowledge. So you have the, the masculine has the two of swords in the upright. This is a friend. This is a friend. You're of like minds. And here you are struggling to get something, to figure something out, to make something. You're trying to balance something. You're trying to make something equal, fair, healthy. Um, this is all about health. It is. It's all about health and concoctions natural remedies and there's a friend helping you or a friend wants your help or both one friend is helping you and you're helping another one this could be somebody you're 
romantically connected to or otherwise. Behind you, you have the chaos card in the upright. This is the divine masculine or this is a government organization, or it's a school, or it's a hospital. So I'm feeling like the elements of health in that card. So this kind of feels like a doctor. I've never had the chaos card feel like a doctor. I feel like you, feminine, are a practitioner here with this chaos card, or you're dealing with one. But that's a masculine energy in the feminine. The feminine very well could be um, what's the word for that? Not projecting, not living out, personifying her masculine healing energies. That's how I'm seeing this. The, the masculine has the queen of swords in the reverse. So that is the widow. Okay. Someone might've died in the hospital. Wow. I'm not sure who's coming for your help now or coming to help. Because it feels like there's a masculine in your energy that wants to help you, but it feels like there's a queen of swords in their energy that doesn't want you to help them or doesn't want them to help you. It could be an older feminine energy, like I'm even feeling elderly or um, it could be someone very bitter, someone stuck in the past. Hmm. Let's keep going. In the feminine headspace, she has the 10 of coins in the reverse. Wow, betting the farm, losing it all taking a gamble, gambling addiction. But whatever it is that you gambled on in your heart space, you hit the jackpot. But you feel, you could, oh, you could be putting on a brave face. 10 of coins in the reverse. The masculine energy has the page of swords in the upright. He's looking the other way. Hmm, that's interesting. He's looking the other way. From what? From your lack of sense, literally, like your lack of um, any kind of sense. He's looking away. The feminine has lost her sense, maybe lost her coins or lost her senses. And he's looking the other way He's looking, okay, I'm getting, a, I'm getting a feminine energy. I tried to do a couple of readings yesterday and for various reasons I didn't upload them, but there was a feminine energy that looked like she was about to get arrested or somebody was having a meltdown at work and the masculine energy in the reading felt like he was actually like a EMT person or someone doing a wellness check. So I'm kind of picking that up here again. And that was to two different shuffle songs too. Um, all right, so in your advice, the feminine energy has prudence in the reverse. The people, the people don't approve. The people don't approve of something in the past. The people, So the feminine energy at the base of this was pushing very, very hard, very ambitious, very money-oriented or even. Um, something that made her very happy and like victory, like hit the jackpot in her heart space. But it's like she lost her mind. And now in her advice, ooh, the feminine energy in this might have to face the people bridge over troubled water. The feminine has to build a bridge. The feminine has to backtrack. The feminine went too far, too fast, took some kind of, could have even been a moral shortcut. But now 
yeah, yeah, the devil energy is in your willpower. So you pushed too hard. You might have pushed past your own moral something, principles, because you, you could have been a little bit, um, well, you could have had no money. Maybe you felt like you were, like you didn't have a choice, but you risked it all. Or Sorry, I shouldn't say you. I should say the feminine, the feminine. I'm trying to train my brain that it's not gender. I'm not feminine. I'm not masculine. I'm both. And so are you. And But it's, it's a bit of a brain twister to not um, see myself in the feminine every single time. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be more flexible. All right. So, yeah. So the feminine energy here. She's looking at the masculine. It feels like the people are looking at the masculine. The masculine has eight of cups in the upright. So the masculine's advice is to walk away from something. You could be getting some kind of advice from friends or friends are telling the masculine to walk away from something. But it also feels like friends are telling the masculine to go, like to, to personify what's in their heart. It could be to apologize, or it could be this person wants to help the feminine in her issue. The feminine has an issue here with the Justice in the reverse. She's not at peace. She's she's not um, she's not feeling balanced. She's not feeling balanced. The masculine is bringing her support and love, definitely. He's looking away from the ten of coins in the reverse in the headspace. He's not listening to what you're saying. You're not making any sense. The feminine is not making any sense. The masculine knows better somehow. The feminine is fulfilled and victorious in her heart space, but she's lost all sense in her head space. The feminine could be doing what the people want or trying to. Tr oh, okay, six of coins in the reverse, trying too hard. Trying too hard to do what the people want. Um, I'm also now seeing this devil energy. It could be an addiction um, to what, like a, a people pleaser. This is a people pleaser in this feminine energy right here, pushing way too hard. This masculine energy is a friend. They're looking away from whatever it is that the feminine has lost her mind about. Okay, so why me? The masculine song was why me? Um, I thought she would come back. So the masculine is like, like the feminine's happy without him. And the masculine is like, I thought she'd come back. But it's almost like he, he in the headspace, he's like visiting your head. There's no one there. I don't mean that in that, in the, any kind of um, that way. And he's walking away. He's like, all right, I know the truth now. He's offering an apology or he's offering some kind of help. But there is a feminine queen of swords in the reverse energy that's stopping this. Um, the feminine is also personifying the masculine in the past. And the masculine could have been personifying the feminine in the past. And it did not work. The masculine broke the connection and rebuilt himself. Wow. He could have learned a lot here. It definitely has softened his heart in some way. He could be walking away from a friend here as well, but it feels like it's a good friend. It feels like this friend is telling him to go that way. You're not happy here. Ten of cups in the reverse. You're not happy here. 
I'm also kind of feeling like this magician in the feminine energy is cooking something up to keep somebody away. Could be the masculine. Keeping the masculine away. Like a bug spray. A masculine bug spray. <laughs> All right. Um, on the feminine side, what you don't see coming is a message. You have the um, page of wands in the upright. So you're getting some kind of good news. You're getting some kind of good news. And it could be about this other person or this masculine, um, what his plans are, because he's pointing right at the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So it could be something about future plans that he has. It, it looks like something that he likes, something that's fun. It could be um, in the beginning stages, or maybe he's interested in you. Maybe he wants to take you on a trip or something, or a road trip, or maybe he wants to get married, but that feels kind of fast. So let's keep going. Um, in the masculine, you have the sky in the upright. So healing, yeah, and it's right beside the Ten of Cups in the reverse. He wants you to heal him because he wants to keep going. He wants to live. He wants to do things. And he knows you have this instinctual ability or instinctual, is that a word or is it instinctive? Um, connection. You have this connection. Your advice, the people. You're looking in the past of this person or you're digging into their deepest energy. You're, you're doing energy work. You are, you're doing energy. Oh, wow. That just, I just saw that mirror upside down. I just saw it. Can you see that? I saw it swing like a pendulum. So you could be doing pendulum healing energy work. Um, it's going to take a while or it's going to take repeated, um, whatever you're healing, it, you have to keep doing it over and over again. You have to keep pushing. You have to keep pushing. This could be, um, the people in the reverse is making me feel like noxious environment. He, this masculine who is wanting help, um, is feeling some kind of health afflictions. It's, it could be in their environment. Their advice might be to walk away from this environment that they're in that's making them sick. But yeah, you're doing some kind of heavy duty. You are pulling energies up from the earth. You're doing heavy duty energy healing. And this is healing. This is what the masculine doesn't see coming, is healing, peace, the sky in the upright. Absolutely, it's healing. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Gemini or a Libra or a Capricorn or a Pisces or um, a Scorpio. All right, so that's how I'm seeing this. I'm, I'm seeing somebody is looking to the feminine, whatever gender you are, for healing treatments. They want healing treatments. And it could be an ex or it could be, it could be anybody. It could be a horse. All right. I love you guys. Have a beautiful weekend. Bye.